right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling is takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, Magnifico. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Grimpton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. Scotiabank Arena, you got the We The North t-shirt on underneath your suit, you do. You know, I'm the guy that loves any team that's in so yes, we are the North. Or oh, we the North. They don't use proper grammar up there in Canada, but we the North. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just then. And you see as a punch starts to slow down, and I take many of those kicks. Nice body 
body kick right on the elbow. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Oh! Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with that right hook. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. Now connects with a right. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and train down big strikes in your opponent. Massive head kick. Big leg kick land. Watch the strike. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he switches his stance yet again. Great punch, man. So much power. Leg kick. Got the single collar tie. strike to the body really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds nice straight punch timely defense there huge block for him looked like he might have landed there instead a swing and a miss by Lee Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Do it again. Lee gets hit by that leg kick, and they want to start checking some of these. Nice punch lands over the top. Breathe. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Some nice back and forth action here. Take a deep breath and relax. Don't you look at the pinch position. Just put the pressure on this guy. Move forward behind head movement. Keep your jab nice and long. Follow up with power shots. Combination. All right, now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a penchant for landing those head kicks, and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up, or he's going to go good night very soon. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure. But he's trying to walk forward with no head movement. And he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Blocks the shot. And just misses with that big right hand. And he landed the right hand there. 
he loaded up like that right too. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Nice punch there. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Beautiful punch. Just out of range with that left hook. Wow. Wow. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Beautiful kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, right hand gets up to block. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. So unable to connect on the uppercut. Single collar tie now. Beautiful body seat land right under the elbow. Ooh, big shot land. There's no give on that leg kick. Lee's kick, that one blocked. Wow, that right punch has been a money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm gonna take one to give one. Oh, and he lands another punch there. You can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishing. His head kick lands. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. How good is that right hand? Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Nice loop of punch. Oh, oh, oh. Twenty seconds left. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Right hand upstairs. Oh man, this guy kicks like a rule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. And that's the end of round number two. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment 
to try to change the tide of this fight. Third round underway. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Lee. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Down there, how good is his takedown defense? All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Look at the turnover in that kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Slips to avoid that left. Oh, man. Jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing: it does not feel good. Big head kick lands. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That was nice. Nice strike. Oh, big head kick lands. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Got clipped with the right hand. remain in the round. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Beautiful strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And now he's got the tight punch. Nice kick. He blocks the punch. Slips to avoid the right. There's no tell on that leg kick. Straight right hand, no good. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, big punch land. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice, sneaky head kick. Final seconds. 
big uppercut there. Didn't get the knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. And now his opponent may start to drop the hands to block the uppercut. So look for him to throw something else now up top. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Had him hurt and almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling this round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster. So cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight nights. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Lee gets hit with a kick. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Big punch land. Ooh. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Lands the right hand. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Big head kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Good punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Nice head kick. Powerful leg kick lands. trying and finally got him to the ground. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Head kick. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, he's sort of hanging out here, unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. I mean, look at the commitment to kick him. Oh, fades upstairs and lands rushed to the they floor. land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Whoa! He's out! He's done, he's done! <laughs> You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that added all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds of round number four. Declare the winner by knockout, Magnifico! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a 
cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's life. And tonight, you got that done. And you should be very proud 